Hey Leo Seeker, welcome back to the Existential Shift. I am Morgane, super happy to have you here. We're doing something special right now. I'm giving you messages for the new moon in Pisces. So this will be from the new moon all the way towards the full moon. Um, I'll be using the runes and the Akashic records. So for your tarot scopes, we already have all the general reads uploaded, so feel free to check them out. We also have our extended tarot scopes uh, for this month. I will link it all below, of course. I'm doing there a Celtic cross and a rune reading as well, so uh, check it out if you haven't checked it out so far. And other services are also below, but let's get to it. So this will, this will be for um, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm uploading all the signs today. Happy March 1st, but this will be for the entire month. Or whenever you're seeing this, time is fluid. Okay, messages for my Leos. New moon to full moon. I'm going to grab three rooms, closing my eyes to not, um, to not see what's going on. So Leo. Messages for the new moon. The next two, three weeks. Okay, we have Kinas in the reverse as the first room. Kinas can be the letter K. This is like the third or fourth time this rune is coming up. I've done this is like the fifth reading that I, that I, that I did today. Um, and it's been coming up in the middle and the second placement. A Cancer just had it. Uh, Gemini had it. Aries and uh, Taurus both had two of similar rooms and you see me you see me mix and you see me close my eyes and there's 25 rooms so this is crazy so we're all as a collective seem to be going up going through something specific and then last room is ink so um cancer also had this cancer had ink in the first position then it had, it had isa which we're having here in the second position so um Leo should, you guys should watch Cancer as well, and Cancer should watch Leo. This is so interesting. Okay, let me, I'm going to let you guys see this. Oh, no! <laughs> Sorry. I was like, oh, the table. Why do you like my new, um, my new desk? Anyway, runes are Celtic, they're Gaelic, they're powerful. This is Rosemary, I added it for the, for the personal touch. So, magic time for us as a collective. We're going through some really similar things. We're having repetitive rooms coming up, but with little small differentialities for you guys, for my Leos. So something is ending, for sure. You are finishing up with something um, that served its course, run its course, I'm sorry, served its dues. It could be a karmic situation that ended. It can be a karmic cycle that ended. It can be an opportunity that you thought will happen but ended up not following through. Um, but here's the thing. This is this is classic. One door closes, another opens. Like, look at this. In ink here, you see you also have the kinaz in the reverse, but you also have kinaz in the upright. So one door closes, but it makes room for another to open. So this thing that ended or is ending right now, this hold, this block that was put on, like the door slammed, closed. You are literally from there, maybe it connect, it's connected in a way somehow, or it has, or this uh, situation that is done is leading towards something else. This could be a job that you're finished you're finishing up in that company, but it's that same company that you got the new opportunity from, okay? This could be a relationship that is ending and something new is starting, but somehow you met this new person through your connection with, you know, with the other person. Something like that, okay? And honestly, it doesn't even have to be romantic or career-oriented. This could be very energetic. This could be one aspect of you is closing up, finishing, right? You've, you've mastered that element in you, that aspect in you. 
and now it's making room for a new process. It's like, um, I'm going to keep giving examples, it's like finishing up in the academy, like finishing up your school, and then from, from finishing up school, a new opportunity, a work opportunity comes up. Or maybe you're going through uh, to the next level in your studies. That is a result of the studies that has ended. But this is something like there's a real, even though this is Isa and it's ice, I'm still getting like, like it's like a plant growing out of the ice. It's like, can you imagine like going in a field that is completely um, snow and suddenly see a flower like out of nowhere? Like this, this literally something grows and you're like, how in the midst of all of this, I find myself with this beautiful thing that is emerging. In can be ING. Oh my God, King, King, or you're Leo, <laughs> K-I-I-N-G. Wow. And you guys are, and this reading is for Leos, like the archetype of, of, of royalty, of the king. Okay, okay, okay. You're finishing up something that is literally putting you on the throne, okay? Ending this situation or whatever this was, is putting you in such an accurate place, like on top of something. You're the king of something. <laughs> Leo, what is this? Comment. Wow. This is so funny. I, I watched the Leo King, so I keep getting the, the Leo King out of this. I don't know if you're watching him. He's a, he's a really funny dude that does great astrology videos. But it's, it's something like that. It's like, you know, um, It's, it's like being the boss of something like you, okay, I'm finished with that, mastering that, enough of that, moving on to the next level where I'm, where I'm bigger and where I'm better. Good Leo, I love this message for you. And this is happening this month. This is, this is a condensed reading for the energies for the, you know, for the next two, three weeks. And I'm seeing like a cycle, like, okay, you were here and now you reach a certain peak, done. And now you're like, whoosh, evolving okay let's 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 bring the akashic records into this for leo please lovely eight of keys the master artisan and one more from the akashic records for my leo sun moon rising venus cross watchers Wow, initiation and the Count Saint Germain. Yeah, someone is being initiated into something really big. And the third and last and final message from the Akashic Records to Leo's. Wow, Four of Scrolls, the Karmic Trench. How gorgeous are these cards? Okay, let me take a look at this for a second. Master Altisan. Initiation in the Count of Saint Germain. I'm getting someone who's passing forward their knowledge or, or like, um, like if let's say you've received a promotion and now you're like, in the final stages of um, teaching someone who's supposed to replace you, like an intern, or something. and then and then you're and then you you're 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 free to work on your own new um, title or job title, or that maybe that's coming soon. The situation. Um, I also have eight of keys, and then this is fourteen, but I have four in here, four of scrolls, so double four. Yeah, this is um, initiating other people and working on something big, something that will last for um, a long time. Like you're working on something that you want to have, some of you even for generations, like you're literally on, on a legacy, you're working on a legacy and you're really putting in the work. And it's I feel like it's something that is existing, but you're um, just... You know, you're planting new seeds to make this grow. You're like uh, expanding with your 
craft like um, evolution of the knowledge kind of thing let's read okay let's start with the eight of keys eight of keys okay master artisan inside a bright and bus and bustling artisans workshop apprentices are busy at their work benches which are arrayed with the beautiful fruits of their labors the master artisan pours a number of beautiful shining gems into the open hand of one of his apprentices this card indicates that you now have the opportunity to offer your talents your purpose and your gifts to the world making a contribution to many don't be shy and don't hold back what you have to share it's not the time to hide your light under a basket. As a master, as a matter of fact, as a master, as a matter of fact, you may now find yourself teaching or training your skill set to others. You may also be demonstrating your gifts and performing your talents publicly. Even if your gifts lie in the ability for loving, compassionate care, you will be sharing those gifts with others. In this period of time, you can build your reputation and take advantage of the opportunities that come, that come your way. So take action, put yourself out there, and let yourself shine. There is much beauty and empowerment for you to bring to the world. Lovely. Okay. And now let's go to the initiation and count uh, Saint, and Saint, Saint Germain. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Standing among the pillars within a beautiful temple, the Ascended Master Count Saint Germain sends his light and energy to the four robed people who stand before him. It is time for their initiation. This card represents your initiation. It is much more than a change or even a transformation. It's nothing less than your movement into higher revelations of power, insight, and achievement. And the time is now. Some loss of power, vibration, relationships, jobs, or activities may be required in order to lift you to the new heights and power that awaits you. Your initiation can be aided by meditation and study, as well as by connecting to the Ascended Masters with whom you have worked for centuries upon centuries. Know that you have shared purposes and activities with the Masters, even if you aren't certain of what they are yet. The disciplines you create now during your initiation and the work you do with um, with the masters will lift your service to the world and to all humankind. This is a time of enormous uplifting, first in your energy and evolution, then in your manifest outer reality. The power that you hold within will impact every part of your life. Did I not say it's something that is? I feel like you're building for like, you know, as a legacy? Wow, Leo. Tell me what it's about. Tell me what this is about. Now let's go to the Four of Scrolls. The Karmic Trench. In a field meant to be planted, a man, dirty from his efforts, stands knee-deep inside a long trench. The seeds wait to be planted, he, um, yet he continues to dig deeper and deeper. There are other rows plowed and ready for planting, but they are ignored. This card reveals a difficult pattern in your life, Ooh, the pattern of self-defeating feelings, thoughts and actions that you've brought forward from previous incarnations. You returned to this life with the intention of breaking this karmic pattern, but you got pulled into the old thoughts and behaviors. You've been digging yourself deep into a karmic trench that gets harder and harder to escape. This pattern is not unknown to you. You recognize it in your relationships, in your jobs, and certainly in your beliefs, behaviors, and responses. It's time to take charge of your karma by altering the inner ideas, feelings, and patterns that cause you to make sabotaging choices. Every time you notice yourself making, making an old choice that digs you deeper into your karmic trench, you can change your mind and your actions. This will require your conscious effort every step of the way. Without such work, you could go lifetimes burying yourself in the same feelings. But with your commitment to making changes every day, you can dig yourself out. Okay, okay, so this is what else I'm getting. This might be this karmic cycle that wants to end. 
and you have a new opportunity and yet this end still exists in this new opportunity be careful to not bring this cycle with you to this new initiation that you're going through okay don't hold on to it whatever it is that you're not you're not learning evolving creating stepping into try to do it with a beginner's mind in a way aka not with your old karma and um and behavior patterns okay because this is also a repetition of of in and out in and out here and there here and there and you have an enormous opportunity right now to shine like your soul is like yes we're ready but don't like be up there don't plant your head in the rows okay okay Leo's yeah that was great okay watch your other placements because I'm doing all of them today so they're all gonna be up at once um, check out your extended for this month link below we have a Celtic cross and we have also another room reading but it's gonna be a part of the general reading that I made from the class of tarot for this month and it's all already on my channel so feel free to check it out my other services are also below if you want to book a private reading to watch your 2019 ministers of magic extended yearly um, and check out the tarot masterclass the online tarot masterclass where i teach the cards you can choose either a deep process from beginning and forward like go, go chronologically in accordance with the order that i uploaded the classes or you can just be like i just want to know these cards because they came up in these readings for me and i just want to know what they mean so you can also just check them out so it's it's a really kind of versatile um project that i made that kind of suits all <laughs> you can just build it for yourself okay i love you mucho my leos if you haven't subscribed yet your opportunity and yeah i'll see you in the next videos bye